and achieving health equity require broad uh, approaches that address the behavioral, social, and environmental or structural factors that influence health. And one of our um, um, uh, isa pong uh, portion po natin in able to be healthy is citizens are health literate and have good health seeking behavior. And also, communities, workplace, and schools are supportive of these healthy behaviors. So, again, next slide. And then in our Protect from Health Risk, no, the health system shall be prepared and have the capacity for recovery and adaptation to future disasters and pandemic. So disease outbreaks are prevented and or managed. No? So strengthen health system structures. Kaya po tayo meron po pinag-iisipan na centers for disease, prevention and control, no? yung ating local pinapalakas po natin ang ating local epidemiology and surveillance unit, no? ang ating laboratory systems, yung ating sa paggawa po na ating Virology Institute of the Philippines, and of course, um, yung medical research core natin. Sige, next slide. So, kasali din po sa protect from health risks, no? That medicines and technologies are assured to be of quality, safe, accessible, and affordable, and health facilities and services are safe and of quality. So, yeah. Next. Sa care naman, no? care for health and wellness, so greater attention shall be given to the health system design. So kasali po dito ang financing mechanism and of course, the processes of care in accordance with the reforms no? espoused by the UHC Act no? para ma-deliver po natin ang people-centered care para sa health and wellness. So uh, kasali po doon, ang network of primary care and specialist care providers are high quality and well distributed throughout the country. Kasali din po doon, ang pag-register sa ating Filipinos to a primary care provider, no? establishing healthcare provider networks or our HCPN, and of course, building more health facilities. Sige. Next slide. So, also, for care for health and wellness, no, quality health services are appropriately and fairly financed, no, ensuring that responsive and accurate benefits development by feel health, and of course, zero co-payment. So lastly, no, we have strengthen, no, strengthen institutions and workforce. So government health institutions shall be strengthened in order na ma foster ang leadership in health, uh, upgrade organizational capacities with changing needs, and facilitate and facilitate the system wide changes that are necessary to deliver the essential interventions under the first three strategic steps. And also, because our strength and institution and workforce is the backbone, no, the health sector shall ensure that our healthcare workers are adequate, engaged, and protected throughout our delivery of the first three strategic steps. Okay. Next. So, ayun. So, lastly po sa ating strength, strengthen, Healthcare workers are adequate and committed, no? fairly compensated, and given opportunities for professional development in healthy working environment. So, ayun, implementation po ng ating National Human Resource for Health Master Plan, no? demand-based HRH po, kung saan po yung pinaka nangailangang areas, especially our GITA, dun po natin inalagay ang ating mga HRH, giving of more scholarships, fellowships, rotations, and partner institutions, and of course, hopefully, hopefully, competitive compensation and benefit package for our healthcare workers. Next slide. Yeah. So out of uh, those four strategic thrusts, no, nakagawa po tayo na nine strategic objectives. Okay. So, okay, next slide. So, ayun. so for DOH, no, the support function of DOH would mainly um, uh, not only in the level of the central office but also in the level of the Center for Health and uh, Development is that the support function would be the human resource management, no, the giving of the infrastructure, equipment, the funding, no, the procurement and the supply chain management, uh, performance management and accountability, and of course, um, planning no, of the budget and execution of the budget. Our core function po in DOH would be 
policy standards and regulation through uh, policy making and of course our our led um, giving of capacity building uh, activities and of course technical assistance for sa ating mga LGUs and of course stakeholder engagement and for our specific strategic uh, functions no of course to engage sectors for health in all policies approach and to catalyze the transformation of local health systems into provincial and city wide no na health systems and eventually hopefully no the impact would be the better equitable health outcomes a more responsive health system and a financially uh, protected po na mga filipinos and uh Ang ating bagong uh, vision po for the health sectors, effect sector is that Filipinos are among the healthiest people in Asia by 2040. Okay. Next slide. Okay, I think that's it for uh, for my side. Uh, Ma'am Doniela, are you still there? Yes po, Doc. Thank you, Doc, for discussing the Omnibus Health Guideline, the Policy Pipeline for Mental Health, and also the Health Sector Strategy for 2023 and 2028. Now, we will proceed with the proposed calendar of activities for mental health program for 2023. Now, for our first quarter, we do have the consultative meetings. <coughs> For February, we have on the 24th, first consultative meeting, but due to the proclamation number 167 for the, according to the um, na, special non-working holiday, so na move po tayo today, February 27. March, for the month of March, we do have schedule of monitoring and evaluation on the 29th and the 31st. And then on April, for on the second quarter, meron tayong MH GAP training, April 10 to April 12 for our um, doctors. Sa ating month of June naman, we do have consultative meeting on the 21st. And then on 25th and 30th is monitoring and evaluation. On the third quarter of 2023, meron tayong schedule of MH GAP training for, the, for August 16 to 18. So September, in the month of September, we do have consultative meeting on 15 and another monitoring and evaluation on 27th and 29th. On the month of October, meron tayong schedule of the celebration of Men National Mental Health Week on 10th to 14th. Another monitoring and evaluation for the last quarter of the year on November 27 to 29. And last consultative meeting of the year will be on December 6. That is our prospect um, dates for this whole year. Now, if we do have changes, if we do have other um, schedule of dates, we will just be contacting um, all of our partner stakeholders through, through mail or through our group chat. Because we will be having or we will be commencing our group chat starting today po. So next, we do have the updates on medicine. So if you have um, questions, po regarding the schedule of activities for the whole month or for the whole year of 2023, you can take down your take you can take down notes and meron po tayong um, updates and issues and concerns later on that we will just be um, discussing all your concerns. So next, we do have updates on medicine access program mental health. So this will just be a reiteration or parang um, this will just be a review regarding the implement, implementing guidelines on the Medicine Access Program for Mental Health or MAP-MH. So the rationale, this is according to the AO number series of 2001, the National Mental Health Policy recognizing the role of mental health and well-being in national development. Now, this policy sets the guidelines for a sustainable program in the Philippines and to provide MNS or pharmacologic interventions to our access sites or to our partner stakeholders. So again, um, objectives po natin, um, our, of course, number one is the AMAP mh yung providence of our MNS pharmacologic treatment for our partner stakeholders. 
increased service users access to quality essential medicines in the treatment of various mental, neurologic, and substance use MNS disorders. Now, ito po yung ating number one goal sa um, mental health program. We will be increasing the number of access sites natin so that we can um, disseminate ang ating services to sa ating mga GDA areas and to all other um, units. Establish a functional electronic information management system for MAP-MH. Improve primary health care in the poorest communities by addressing the needs of the population for essential medicines and conduct efficient monitoring and evaluation of the utilization of essential medicines for MNS disorders, which we have seen sa ating schedule po for this year, which will have um, various schedules for each um, quarter ng, regarding sa monitoring and evaluation. Now, for our access sites, we do have access sites from the PHO levels down to the municipal level. So, meron din po tayong outpatient and primary care clinics from the RHUs. Identified access sites shall be provided with essential medicines according to the needs of the service users. To this end, the access site shall be responsible for implementing MAP-MH by procuring essential medicines through our requisition issuance slip with a coverage of one year. So I think you are familiar with this already because this is just a form of reiteration or review of the guidelines. So of course, you will be sending us the requisition issuance slip and with that, we will be having the allocate allocation, um, allocation list that will be sent to central office. Now, if the central office will receive those lists of medicines as procured by the um, by these sites, by the access sites here in Davao City, in Davao region, now it's the responsibility of the central office to provide those. Now, hindi po namin, um, it is not in our hands kung ano po ang medicines, psychotropic medicines na ibababa ng central office. Specific guidelines, access sites shall regularly submit utilization reports. Reports shall be submitted quarterly on the first weeks of April, July, October, and January accordingly. So together with your RIS, you are also sending your utilization reports and also your patient registry. So access sites shall regularly in case there is shortage or stock of medicines, stock out of medicines in access sites, requests shall be made to the DOH National Mental Health Program for augmentation purposes. Take note, however, requests shall be made known three months prior to allow for to allow for processes to be completed. Now, if meron po tayong near expiry medicines, it shall be reported to the nearest CHDs or MOH bar, while expired medicines shall be disposed in accordance with the Joint Department of Environment and Natural Resources and its amendments. And kailangan pong witness from the CHD or MOH bar, FDA, and Commission on Adult or COA shall be present whenever disposal of expired drugs is conducted. Next, we do have access sites shall inform and coordinate with the DOH Central Office regarding slow-moving dr moving drugs and inventories and other issues and concerns regarding the program. Now, with this factor, you can also communicate with the DOH CHD sa amin po. And with that, we, we will be the ones that will communicate to the C DOH Central Office regarding kung meron kayong mga slow-moving drugs. Access sites shall diligently enforce the mechanism of stock transfer of medicines among access sites to prevent wastage in coordination with the CHD regional coordinators and NDPCO. So I think this is already observed by some of the um, city health offices and provincial health offices as they are really disseminating medicines para naman sa ibang access sites or rural health units. So that's really good, no? Um, Roles and responsibilities. So this will just be a reiteration. Um, the National Mental Health Program lead the implementation of MAP-MH nationwide and ensuring the funding support of the psychotropic drugs. 
Um, the PD, the Pharmaceutical Division and National Drug Policy Compliance or NDPCO shall provide technical assistance and monitoring support towards the mental health program in the procurement, distribution, and utilization of the medicines. Next, we do have the Knowledge Management and Information Technology Service. Now, in collaboration with the NMA, NMHP, they will develop a functional electronic information management for the MAP-MH. Now, next, number four, we do have the PhilHealth. Now, as mentioned by Dr. Janelle, and some of you are familiar with it, um, na meron tayong outpatient and benefit package for MNS. Um, actually, we do have, we are on a meeting right now, and meron po tayong um, updates and concerns regarding the benefit package for mental health. So that will be another thing. The Centers for Health Development identify health facilities to be identified as access sites for MAP-MH, monitor and evaluate, supervise those implementation of MAP-MH, and collect, consolidate access reports, access sites reports, resolve issues and other concerns needing actions on the operationalization, and enforce a mechanism of moving stocks of medicines among access sites with low level of utilization in coordination with other access sites. And next, lastly, we do have the supply, supply chain management services. So pag nag-deliver po or pag nag, nag, nagbibigay po ang central office, Sa atin, they will go through supply chain management system, they will go through series of investigation, um, inspection, and acceptance to end user. So, meron po talaga ang process. So, once the central office delivers psychotropic medicines, hindi po siya agad-agad that we will allocate and we will provide you all those following medicines that the community needs. So, kailangan po talaga natin ng patients. And then ito po yung ating itsura ng ating RIS. We do have um, 2023 Mental Health Medicines Access Program. And then if you, I think lahat naman po na, familiar na po sa ating RIS, um, kindly fill up if you are about to send your RIS, kindly fill out po lahat ng ating mga blank um, ang name of health facility, ang address, and contact number. Kasi may mga um, access sites po tayo that they will be sending RIS without the name of health facility. Now, the moment I will uh, will print it, hindi ko na po malaman kung kanino po tong RIS na to. So, that will be a concern or a problem. So, important na whenever you send, you will send RIS, complete ito po ang ating information. So ito po yung dinagdagan po namin ang ating mga ang, ang ating mga psychotropic medicines. So this will cover mental, neurological and substance medicines. So if you can observe, meron na po tayong levetiracetam and memantine 10 mg. And then sa baba po Dito, kindly fill out po kung sino po ang nag-prepare, ang designation, ang contact number, and yung email address. The same goes with the mental health office, municipal health officer, para malaman po namin and ma-update din po namin ang inyong mga directory. So we can know who are we, who are we communicating with and who are we who are we going to speak with. So ayan. And then the patient registry. So we will not be allocating you medicines if there are no patient registry. Of course, um, pag meron tayong requisitions of um, psychotropic drugs, there should be consumers. So kailangan po din namin yung patient registry nyo upon giving or submitting RIS. So kindly, again, kindly fill out po yung mga blanks kung anong quarter, kung anong year, yung especially kung, ano, kung kaninong access site po ba, region and contact number. Because so we can know and we, we to avoid confusion po kung, kung kaninong patient to or kaninong RIS to. Now for the issues and concerns, documentary of delivered psychotropic drugs. So, um, bago lang po ito, nag-message po sa amin from central office that we do need to have a documentary of delivered psychotropic drugs 
sa ating level. So, whenever, pag may delivered po tayo, um, kindly send sa ating group chat because we will be having, again, we will be having a group chat starting today. So, kindly send the, the images or the photos sa ating group chat so we can know na um, yung medicines na inallocate is delivered na sa on your level. And upon delivery, number two, upon delivery of the psychotropic drugs to the CHD office, two days will be given to the MH program for the finalization of the allocation list. Now, pag nagde-deliver po, we will just, I will just be explaining to you the process po, ma'am, ma ma'am, doc, and ma'am, sir, ha? Pag nagde-deliver po ang central office sa atin, um, it they will be giving me two days to give or to finalize ang allocation list. Now, with that two days, kailangan kong isa-isahin yung mga RIS natin, yung mga binibigay yung patient registry if in line ba with your requisition. So that will be um, really, um, it, it really takes time. Now, some of our access size suggested, suggested na before po magpasa ng allocation list sa ating pharmacy, ang pharmacy po yung the ones um, assigned to deliver yung psychotropic drugs sa ating, sa ating access site, sa inyo po. So before po, before po ko po i, uh, ibibigay sa kanila yung allocation list, I, I need to send to you kung ano po yung mga ibibigay ko na mga gamot or ano po yung mga ilan at ano po yung mga gamot na ibibigay ko. So there you will know na or you will suggest, you will give me the feedback na ma'am, hindi ko na po kailangan yung um, olanzapine or ma'am, kulang po ito. Pwede po bang dagdagan kasi nag-update po yung RIS namin. Or ma'am, um, hindi ko na po kailangan ng um, ganito or speridon kasi po nag-procure po sa LGUs. Now, I will be giving you five days to give your feedback. So, upon delivery sa, sa central office sa CHD, I will do the, the allocation list and then I will give you the a copy or list ng mga allocation na matatanggap ninyo ng mga medicines and then I will be giving you five days to give feedback kung okay ba or tama ba yung mga allocated medicines to your level so that hindi po tayo magkakaproblem na sob sobra na or slow moving itong gamot na ito or nagbago na ang ating requisition at um, ating mga request. Okay? Now, if you have changes with regards to your RIS, please lobby your concerns to your PHO focus. So, ito po yung um, notice from the pharmacy department. So, I think blurry po siya, no? So, bibigyan, kindly provide. They were giving us a notice that once na-deliver na po yung mga gamot, psychotropic dra drugs, kind we, we need to provide or I need to provide them the allocation list within two days. But before that, I will be giving you five days para mabigay niya yung feedback kung okay ba yung mga medicines na ibibigay or ipoprovide sa inyo. So again, pag may questions po tayo, um, kindly gather your questions para po ma-raise up po natin or ma-manifest po natin mamaya. So next, we do have the updates on mental health program directory. So if you are if you can remember this, nag-send po ako ng Google Sheet form, editable Google Sheet form but, um, last month. Please update the sheet for Davao del Sur, Municipality of Habonay, Municipality of Sulop, Municipality of Kiblawan, Santa Cruz, Digo City, and Municipality of Matanao. Kindly update your directory kung um, ano po, sino po yung focal natin, yung Municipal Health Officer po natin. And then, for the Davao del Norte, um, Please update your directory po na yung Google Sheet po na sinend ko sa inyo from the PHO, from Dapicol, Tagum City, Municipality of Asuncion, Municipality of San Isidro, Municipality of Kapalong, Municipality of Santo Tomas, and Panabo City. From Davao de Oro naman, Provincial Health Office from Dimaco, 
Mabini, Moncayo, Laak, Compostela, and Mostivista again. We are encouraging you to please provide your directory the names of your focal persons and your municipal health officers para we are transparent on who we are speaking with and kung may letter of communications man, mas madali yung dissemination of the letters. And from Davao Occidental, we do have Provincial Health Office, Municipality of Don Marcelino, Municipality of Santa Maria, Municipality of Malita, Municipality of Sarangani Island, Municipality of Jose Abad Santos. Now from Davao Oriental, um, please um, fill out ang ating Google Sheet from the Provincial Health Office. Governor Generoso, Lupon, Mati City, Taragona, Baganga, and San Isidro. Now, ito po yung sinasabi natin kanina na creation of Facebook group chat for MH program staff, coordinators, and program managers. So, meron po tayong group chat para mas mapadali po natin yung communication with each other, hindi lang through emails, hindi lang through calls and um, messages, meron na po tayong group chat. So please scan the code to join the group or you can click the link sent in the chat box. For a while po ha. <clears throat> Ayan. I already sent you the link to the chat box. Kindly um, click the link to enter the group. Or you can simply um, attend or join the group through our QR code. Po. Ayan. I can see some of our members joining the group. Thank you so much. Sir Respan, Irish Barbarona, Ma'am Maria, Ma'am Kia Capidos, Ma'am Jem Pohanes, Ma'am Hilda, Rina Yu, Ma'am Cherry, thank you so much. And for the rest who will be joining the group later, thank you din po. Now this will be the time that you will raise your concerns, questions, clarifications, violent reactions from city provincial mental health coordinators and other partner stakeholders. Now you can raise your virtual hand or you can just simply unmute your microphone to manifest your updates so that we can um, answer it together with Dr. Junelpo. So any questions, any concerns, clarifications? Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, po, sir. Uh, ma'am, this is Res po from the Provincial Health Office of Davao Oriental. Question ko lang, ma'am, regarding the directory. Where do we get the link po for the Google Sheet? Mm -hmm. um, I will be, it is presented in here, but I will also be sending to you through email or sa ating chat po. Thank you, ma'am. Um, another question po, uh, Doc. Good afternoon, Doc Junel. Yes. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Yes. Um, I would just like to ask po sana because um, the Davao Oriental Provincial Medical Center and the Provincial Health Office of Davao Oriental are already um, planning to establish our mental health and wellness center po with the help of mm -hmm. USAID. Um, okay. Tanong ko lang, Doc, if, is it okay po ba for us to ask for technical assistance or training from the National Center for Mental Health para po makaprovide sila ng training sa core group who will be uh, managing our mental health and wellness center po? Will that be fine po, Doc? Ah, okay. Um, do you have uh, a training in mind po? Anong trainings po yung gusto niyo po sana ano? Kasi po baka po the trainings are given in the CHD level. 
Um, this was a recommendation kasi na binigay sa amin ng USA Doc. Eh, kasi mm-hmm. sila kasi yung magpo-provide ng um namang materials and they will they will help us in the construction of our wellness center. So sabi namin if is it possible po na magbigay din sila ng um, training para maging ready tal- talaga yung team namin. So sabi nila yung recommendation nila is we can re- request for a training from the National Center for Mental Health daw po. So we are, we have already crafted the letter but hindi pa namin sinen because we are also asking you if it will will it be fine or we can also ask assistance from your office instead. Okay. Ah, sige po sir. Kasi po, depende po kung anong type of training or anong klaseng training po yung pinag-uusapan po natin. Kasi po, currently, the training po that is provided uh, by the CHD level is the, MAC, uh, the MHGAP training po ng, uh, ng WHO. So, this is actually a training for the management uh, of uh, the management and development sa RHU level or sa primary care provider level ng mga mental health disorders. Yung mga common mental health disorders po. So, um, yun po yung training namin. However, there are also other trainings from mental health that can be given by DOH. Pero hindi po siya binibigay ng CHD. Uh, it's actually in the DOH Academy already. So, um, one of it is our Tulong Alalay Gabay. Uh, that's a training for our um, uh, grassroots uh, healthcare workers such as our BHWs. Uh, pwede din po ang ating, ang ating mga um, ibang healthcare workers, no, ating allied health. So, it's basically ano po, a training for um, uh, identifying no, our risk factors when it comes to mental health disorders. Yun po yun. Uh, yung isa pong training, it's our mental health and psychosocial services, your MHPSS. So, ito po yung training na binibigay para po sa um, may mga extreme life experiences. So it's it's more of a consultative na uh, it's more of a uh, a training for consultation or uh, it's synonymous to your psychological first aid. Parang ganun po. But this is actually already in the OH Academy. So sinabihan na po kasi kami ng central office at ni RD Umang, sabi niya po na if the trainings are available online or in the OH Academy. Hindi na po namin siya isasali sa aming face-to-face trainings. However, yes, if, if an LGU is able to fund the training that is found in the OH Academy, no, na gusto po talaga nila mag-face-to-face, then pwede naman po yun. Pwede naman po. Okay. However, I am not really familiar with the trainings given by NCMH. So, um... You can, you can actually directly uh, send a letter to them po. Uh, kahit hindi na po dumaan sa amin, okay na mismo okay. pumunta sa kanila since your NCMH is actually a separate facility or a separate yes, institution yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. from from your uh, mental health division from central office. So okay lang po yun. Okay lang Thank po. you, Doc. Yung training kasi na i- i-re-request namin is um, parang focused on caring for carers. Kasi yung, um, yung gagawin kasi na mental health um, hub or center dito sa hospital namin will be for, will be catering the healthcare workers of the hospital. So yung tra- kind of training na need namin is yung caring for carers. Ah, okay. So parang ano po siya, parang, parang, parang PFA, parang psychological first aid for, for the healthcare workers. Yes, yes, yes. Dok, parang ganun dok. Uh, available po siya online pero yung yung yun po yung MHPSS po natin sa DOH mm-hmm. Academy pero um if i'm not mistaken uh we will be having a face to face MHPSS training uh together with HEMS kasi po yung health emergency management system natin uh, partner po natin sila when it comes to MHPSS kasi po extreme life events po yung ating mga um, service users when it comes to MHPSS. So, for sure kasali na po doon yung ating caring for carers. But, um, I guess MCMH can have a more in-depth 
training when it comes to caring for carers, but I'm not really sure on what trainings they can give. But yes, you can actually message, uh, uh, send them a letter po, just to be mm-hmm. sure. Kasi hindi rin po kami sure kung ano pong training ang kanila nabibigay. Yes, Doc. Okay po. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Sir Rez. Hello, hello. Good afternoon, ma'am. From CHO Mati po. Good afternoon po. Yes, sir. Um, may we ask po sa new guidelines, approved guidelines sa implementation ng PHIC package for MNS. Meron na po ba? Hi. Hello, Sir Eugene. Hello, hello. Uh, ako na lang po mag-answer. Uh, wala pa po tayong uh, IRR. Wala pa po tayong implementing rules and regulations okay. and guidelines for outpatient benefit package for mental health. Kasi po currently, ay, nasa meeting pa po ako din currently ng PhilHealth, um, they are still doing a readiness assessment tool. So gumawa pa po sila ng readiness assessment tool uh, with regards to the readiness of our facilities when it comes to um, implementation of the outpatient benefit package. So wala pa po tayo. However, their target date would be somewhere in Q2 or Q3 of this year. Okay, doc. Ay, okay, doc. Copy. Bale, Say, ano, uh, doc? Bale, bale uh, 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 included na po ba sa requirements yung uh, uh, yung structure ng facility? Like, kanyan, good doc? Structure po ng facility? Uh, uh, ano po? Uh, ano tawag niyan? Um, building plan, yung mga ganyan, good doc? Ah, okay. Uh, hindi naman po. Uh, uh, I think they are only focused on the services for now, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm, but, um, ganito na lang po. Uh, kasi po, nasa meeting pa po ako, hindi pa po kami tapos. So, um, I will just give you an update na lang po. Maybe through email or maybe through the chat box po na ating, na for, for, uh, mental health. So, okay, doc. na lang po. Mag, magbibigay po kami ng update sa inyo. Update. Okay, Mag- Thank you, Pastor. Um, Doc, there is a question from the group from the chat. Kung may training po ba tayo sa MH Gap kasi newly hired po siya. Hello po. Is, ma- uh, is Ma'am Jean a doctor po or a nurse? Mm-hmm. Sorry po, hindi ko po nakita. Mm-hmm. Nurse po ba siya? Ah, nurse okay. po, Doc. Ah, okay. Uh, Ma'am Jean, meron po bang MH GAP trained sa RHU nyo po? Sa anong RHU po kayo, Ma'am? Ay, wala na siya. Ah, okay. RHU magsaysay. Sige, ganito po. Um, kasi po ang ating MH gap for this year will be focused mainly on our doctors kasi po sila po yung may capability na mag-assess at the same time mag um tawag na to, mag-prescribe po ng ating medications if your RHU only has uh, one doctor na maipapadala titingnan po natin uh, Backup. Yung, yung MHO nyo po ngayon hindi po trained, if I'm not mistaken. Tama po ba ako, ma'am? Ah, okay. So, siya po muna uunahin namin, ma'am. It, is DDTB po ba siya? Ah, MHO po talaga. Okay, sige. Sige, tinan po natin. Uh, we will make slots po for each um, provinces kung ilan po ang itatrain po namin. Kasi po, since limited po yung budget natin, inaantay pa rin po namin yung sub-allotment namin no, from the central office. So, uh, for now po, uunahin po talaga natin yung MHO muna bago po yung nurses. Pero if may sobra po, uh, yes, we can have also the head, uh, the head nurse na pasamahin po sa training. Thank you. Uh, oh. um, are there Don't questions pa po? Ay, there is a question done in the chat box. Um, when um, will possible training for MH gap for physicians? Should we write a letter for the trainings? I hope you can prioritize us new MHOs. 
<laughs> so, kaya uh, lang ating ano. Um, our first training most probably would be on April ba? Tama ba ako? Ipapresent ko po ulit dong. Sige, sige. Ayun, sige. Ayan dong. So, it will be on April 10 to 12. So, our um, goal po talaga is that each RHU would have at least one um, MHCAP trained po na um, employee. So, yes, we will focus po on the MHOs, especially po dun po sa mga MHOs na kakahire lang po. At the same time, um, no need na po mag-write ng letter Kasi po, for sure, makakasali po kayo sa ating MHCAP training. Um, however, if your RHU or your province no is able to fund their own MHCAP training, example lang naman po yun, so pwede po kayo mag-write ng letter uh, provided that the province will fund for the training. And then we can just invite na lang po the the speakers. But for this training po on April, uh, this is under DOH po. So funded po ito ng DOH. Mm -hmm. May ibang questions pa po? Hello, good afternoon, Doc Janelle. Ay, hello po. Ay, hi. Hi, Ma'am Kiang. Hello, Doc Janelle. Uh, good afternoon from Butika ng Bayan, Malasakit Center. Uh, I just wanted to relay as requested po uh, by our program head of Butika ng Bayan. For request po sana for increase of allocation for Olanzapine Divalprox 250mg Divalprox 500 Kasi po yung last po na deliver, uh, nag-last lang siya ng more than a week and then bubus na. So, once po nagka-stuck kami, grabe masyado ang uh, patient. Po. Tapos, mm -hmm. uh, allowed, uh, pwede pa yan siya, Doc, i-change ang ketayapin. Ang na stock kasi sa amin last year is 200 milligram and then hindi siya moving ba or medyo slow ang mm -hmm. ang malakas po is 25 milligram mm -hmm. sige ganito na lang mamukya um uh for those slow moving drugs um since nasa Davao City lang naman kayo no so we can actually try to deliver this to SPMC IPBM since wala naman po silang slow moving dahil fast moving po talaga lahat doon. So, so um, pwede pong ganun. And then, if ever po you have changes with your um, uh, RIS, nakapagpass na po ba kayo ng RIS, Ma'am Kiang, for, ano, for 2023? Wala pa po for the 2023 doc. I think. Ay, wala pa. Ah, okay. Don, humana ba ang atong kuwan doon? Humana ba ang for 2023? For the okay. Olanzapine, Doc, uh, meron po tayong na-allocate sa butika ng bayan na 48 boxes po. Ah, okay. Sige. Sige. Wala pa niya abot sa ilahan, no? Ano sa yes batch? po, Doc. Um... Upon checking with the pharmacy doc kay doc uh, kay Sir Camilus, nagpapaking pa po sa warehouse. So maybe eh, by next week um for delivery na po ito. Ah sige, doon lang man sila, tapad lang. Oo, oh, oh, doon. Tapad lang man ito, ma'am. Doon ito. Kaayo, Doc Junel. Sige, welcome, Ma'am Kiang. Sige, napad din kayo sila questions. Kadali lang. Hello, Doc. Ay, hello po. Sino po? Your um, story. Hilda, may, sorry po. Regard, um, Hilda, Ay, hello po, Ma'am Hilda. Arish, go, go, po. Yes po. Um, Doon po sa um, RHU na nag-ask about Dival po weeks po. Si ah, sa buti ka ng bayan po. Yes po. Hello. Uh, yes, Doc. Hello. Um, okay, hello po ma'am. Ano po yun ma'am? Sorry po. Come again. Uh, yes daw kasi. Sa RH yun na.
kasi meds po kami dito na like for one, two, three, four, four boxes pa po. Ah, okay. Ah, ano po yan, ma'am? Dival Pro Weeks? Yes po, Doc. Ah, okay. Ma'am Kiang? Uh, yes, Doc. Ma'am Kiang, kamo ba itong nangayog Dival Pro Weeks, Ma'am Kiang? Yes, Doc Junel. Wala na, nakubusan na kami. Ah, okay. Ang RHU, GovGen, dagan pa ito sila. Pinakabuok to, Ma'am Hilda, sorry again. 9,000 tablets po. 9,000 tablets? Yes po. Sige. Pwede ba sige, pwede na ito siya matransfer sa butika ng bayan? Okay po. Ma'am Kiang, naamoy ko an? Naamoy career or something? Uh, wala ba ya, Dok? Sige lang, uh, uh, pwede siguro i-ask na ako si Ma'am Rose if they can help mm -hmm. sa transfer of... Asa ah, gani location, ani Ma'am? Governor Hineroso po, Ma'am. Govgen. Yes po. Na, na health center po ito, Ma'am, no? Yes po, RHU Govgen. RHU sa Govgen. Sige po, uh, sige Doc, I will try to ask na lang po uh, uh, Ma'am Rose if they can help po during the transfer of ano. Ma'am, uh, can you leave po your uh, details na lang po sa group chat so that I can reach out na lang okay, po to you. Thank you. Yes po. Yo. Speaking of group chat, hopefully kayo nakasulot na sa group chat ha para dito na lang sa mag-ano, mag-communicate na na. Sige po, any manifestations pa po? Um, Doc, meron pa pong question sa, sa chat. If pwede po po doon mag 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 magsali ang DepEd sa MH Gap training po natin? Ah, ay hala, ah, sorry po. For MH Gap training po, this is uh, solely for LGU po at saka sa ating uh, health, health sector ng ating LGUs po. So, our target packs po for this one is um, our MHOs, our DDTBs, and our nurses po ang ating target packs. But for this year, ang aming goal is mga MHOs po muna. Yun po. So, yun po. Ah, kasi Sir Stephen pala ito from the Ed. Okay. Yes. yes. Ay, Sir Stephen, may question po sana ako Maka-manifest yes, Sir yes, Stephen. Yes, ah, hello po, Sir okay, Stephen. Po. Oh, hopefully, na-answer na ako yung mong question. Sir Stephen, kanang tawag ni... Sir Stephen, nakadungog mi atong inyong um, suicide get gateway na, na training. Naabatay yung ano ato, Sir Stephen? Kanang data? Mauna sa itong mga, mga nag-attend? Mauna po na akong problema, Dok, kay na-address manggod to sa mga kuan sa tawagan ni kanang sa para sa mga guidance counselors yes. so so murag ang dili manggod ako ang nagagunit sa guidance so murag dili pud ko kakuan kay uh, purely sa mental health na program lang gyud sa okay sa DepEd ko nakakuan nakafocus so murag wala pud ko data ato so wala ko kabalugan ni asa to makakuha og atong mga sort of mga copies ba sa toolkits kung naay sila ginahatag ana mm -hmm. Okay, so nang naging kuan po damo doc murag dilemma po damo ang with regard sa school mental health since uh, nagasig wala pa mi policy sa DepEd then nagisigi sila ng schedule na naadaw mga trainings pero like the MH gap para sa mga health personnel pero wala gyapon siya nabuhat <laughs> maski mm -hmm. last last year pa to siya na schedule po <laughs> mao nang nakamanifest ko at to sir Hi, Doc. Thank you. Ah, okay. Sige, pasensya na ka, you, sir. Ha, kasi sa LGU lang mong gutong training. Uy. Actually, the reason why we have the education sector, Karod, is because we also want to know kung sa ang mga kung sa ang ginabuhat sa sa education sector when it comes to mental health, no? Especially with the rising cases, no? Sa ato ang suicide, sa atong adolescents. So, mo ko siyang uh, nagapangunta na mi. But, um, I think, we can be able naman to get data siguro no from them ed and ched no with regards to the um number of trained na mga guidance counselors sa schools no ug sa ilahang o sa region ba sila gikan kay para um ma sa mo ang side pod sa DOH ma, kanang maka feel pod ni nga okay na adi sila ginabuhat sa ilahang side sige ah Si Ma'am Bernice, na siya question. Siya nga, how can we access or avail? Ah, Ma'am Bernice, na siya sa DOH Academy. Kadali lang ka. Um, Doc, I will be sending them the link to the DOH Academy na lang po. 
Ay, sige, 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 pwede. Sa, sa GC na lang siguro doon. Yes po, Doc. Yes po, Ma'am Bernice. Send ko po ang link sa Portal Academy ng DOH sa GC po. Sige. Tapos also ha, ang ating ano po, uh, good as um, the trainings po that you will uh, have in DOH Academy is good as yes na yun na siya nga trainings. Kanang, di rin na siya kailangan pang uh, gigan sa amua na, ma, na ma, ma made aware ang CHD of it. Di rin na kailangan. No? Pero um, from time to time, of course, because we have a directory also of the coordinators, uh, magpa-update na lang po me. So, kung saan mga training inyong gitake sa DOH Academy. So, if you are MHPSS trained, tulong alalay gabay trained, so, um, baka pwede nyo rin pang ilagay doon. Pero hindi nyo na po kailangan sabihin sa amin sa CHD level na no, human akong train doc for MHPSS. So, okay lang na siya as long as you have the certificate. Okay na to siya. So, automatic man ang certificate sa DOH Academy. Sige. Any more manifestations po from other LGUs sa ating PHO? Meron pa po ba? So, again po ha, just to reiterate lang po, no? Doon po sa sinabi ni Don kanina, para dito na maglisod when it comes to our requisition of our drugs. So, um, upon receiving, no, upon receiving the allocation or the medicines from the central office, no, the procured ones, kay maghatag na may diretsyo sa um, amo ang na-allocate per region. And then we will send it to the different uh, PHO focals. So, um, sa PHO, fo PHO focals na lang po may mga UO changes sa ilahang kuan and also if pwede as much as much as possible kung pwede the changes can already be given within five working days kay gihang yung ilang pujud na mo ang pharmacy department na mo diri kung pwede na to mapa extend ang ato ang um, allocation tungod kay daghan man gud kayo ang meds millions man gud ang iyahang amount so mao lang to siya sige uh, other concerns po, kasi pa manin siya na, ah, ito. ay, ay doon, paano na lang po doon, pa-take note na lang po sa mga um, Persons. provinces na gusto mo appeal sa training sa MH ka. Pero, um, rest assured, no, nga tanan, lahat. tanan <laughs> lahat po, lahat ng, uh, uh, lahat ng provinces po in Davao, uh, we will train for MH ka po. Assured na siya. Yes. Also, um, kasali, if, if you can remember earlier po, no, doon po sa presentation ni Don with, uh, with regards to the implementation of the map MH na access. So, nagaplano mi actually na increase ang atong access sites diri sa Davao region. Kay we currently oh, we currently have two access sites lang jud no, that's um uh, DOH DCHD sa amin po and the other one is SPMC IPBM. So, mas gapo man good kung tagahan tag access sites, especially if each province na ay access site, no? Kay para sa level pa lang sa probinsya, kaya, kaya na nila maghatag o allocation nila. Ay, I mean, mag-upload mag, mag the ay rather sa ilang allocation or sa ilang consolidated na mga RIS, no? Para dili na, para at the same time, dili na po maglisod ang CHD o consolidate sa mga RIS, uh, at the same time, sa PHO level pa lang, ma-check na sa mga focals kung pila ilang kinahanglan na ano, amount sa ilang um, meds. So, for the access sites, no, ang ato ang um, requirement ng Jude is actually at least na ay isa ka, uh, na ay isa ka healthcare worker na train in MHG GAP. Maulang ang to siya. That is also the reason why nung gusto na mo ikalat ang MH gap karo na year para madungagan ang ato access sites. And also, if you want to be an access site, no, and, and nakita ninyo nga naamoy mga MH gap trains sa inyong area, um, you can directly message us kami ni Don, no, or in the GC na gusto mo mag-apply para mahimong access site. And then, kami na bahala na magpasaka sa central office. Uh, para ma-appeal mo sa access sites. Ayan. Sige. Um, any manifestations pa po? Sige, ay, mayroon salita. May question pa po sa chat, Doc. Uh, may, may deadlines pa po ba tayo for submission of RIS and patients registry? So I think ako po mag-answer nito, Doc. 
Um, ang next po na deadline natin is on April, probably on the first week of April, kasi per quarter po yung submission natin ng RAS together with the patient registry. So I expect that I will be um, emailing you regarding their submission of RAS on April of the first week. Yan po. Any questions, concerns, clarifications pa po that you can lobby to us para mas masagot po na natin? Sige na pa ba? Um, ayan, Doc. I think wala na pong questions, clarifications from from our stakeholders po. I think we can proceed with our PowerPoint, Doc. Sige, sige. You can. So, for our evaluation form, kindly please scan the QR code or you can click the link as sent in the chat box. Sorry. You can you can scan the QR code po or meron po tayo um link sent to our chat box. And for those who are asking for for our attendance, Dr. Janelle just sent the link to the attendance. You can also um, click the link to the attendance and the link to our evaluation form. Kina ade ano? Don ade ko ano? Do? Ano ba? Ay ito tawag ko so. Kada lang don ha feel health treat lang. Ay yes po. So si Doc Junal po currently po mag nasa meeting po siya ng feel health so. As we are waiting for him, kindly scan the QR code for our evaluation form and our attendance book. <laughs> Thank you. 